Hi, food friends. It's Kevin. And I'm Ralph behind the camera once yeah. again. That's right. And um, we're going Hawaiian and loving the uh, Teresa Brewer Hawaiian music. We're having a green Christmas. It's yeah, been very right. warm. We haven't seen too much snow yet. Um, but the whole, the whole uh, Hawaiian theme is um, inspired because we're going to a night before New Year's Eve party tomorrow and we're asked to bring something and so bringing a pineapple upside down cake hence always the, a crowd pleaser hence the Hawaiian music um, so what I want to do first is just go over our ingredients and show you what we're going to do now we're, we're getting a little help from our good friend Mr. Duncan Hines he was a real person yeah he actually was a real person and for my money he had the best job in the world he got to drive around to hotels and motels and restaurants and around the country and write about them and rate them um, but that was in a time when uh, before we had all the kind of ratings things that we have now but uh, I do love his cake mix and he does uh, Duncan Hines does make a pineapple cake mix this is our base so we're gonna start with this you could make a cake totally from scratch if you wanted to but you know what this really helps so for a dollar it was okay um, so we've got our cake mix we've got our eggs our brown sugar I've got 10 maraschino cherries chopped up here a stick of butter some baking powder baking soda over here is a um, 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple and pineapple juice that I'm draining um, because the cake mix calls for water but instead of water I put in the extra pineapple juice from the pineapple it gives it that much more of a pineapple flavor so what we got to do first Ralph is we've got to um, uh, melt the butter so we're gonna put a stick of I'm using a disposable pan because I'm take when I go to a party I just love to just leave it so I'm using a 9 by 13 we're gonna put it we got the Westinghouse warmed up to 350 degrees we're gonna let that butter sit in there for a few minutes we just want it melted and then when it's done melting we'll come out uh, with it and we'll start putting the cake together okay pineapple upside down cake okay there's all of our butter nice and melted covering the pan nicely yep. pineapple princess in the background because we're making a <laughs> pineapple princess upside down cake pineapple princess upside down cake all right so we've got our stick of melted butter here now of course we're going to put in our brown sugar so that's the next step now this is um a dark brown sugar you can use light brown sugar if that's what you have on hand just enough to uh, how much did you say a cup this is a cup and of course we remember when we measure brown sugar we always measure it packed, packed in the cup and we're going to give a nice even distribution here but see it's this butter and brown sugar yeah, that the, gives it oh. that nice caramely mm. kind of yeah that rich know. rich sweetness that we love exactly so okay so here's our all right brown sugar so this is the uh, bottom which will end up being the top exactly now there's a couple schools of thought on the pineapple oh what are the scholars saying these days well, you know some people like to use pineapple rings on top of oh, their pineapple cake that's true um, I use the crushed pineapple and I do that because I think this gives us better pineapple coverage more consistency across the top of the cake so every bite gets a pineapple that's what I want I want pineapple I want every bite a pineapple delight, delight. I knew you were going there mm -hmm. so uh, okay so we're just gonna take this pineapple get it all again this was I drained it this was a large uh, 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple in pineapple juice I've got the juice there do you end up using the juice yes I, I use the the the, uh, the pineapple juice in the cake batter nice and moist mm -hmm. 
So I'm going to just put this over here. Now, of course, in addition to the pineapple, we want to put in our cherries. So I took 10 maraschino cherries. Again, we like our cherries, and we're going to just sprinkle those across the top so that, again, like the pineapple, everybody gets a cherry delight in every bite. A everybody. little bit of that fun red. I'm really loving the, the colors cherry. that we're developing here between the butter, the brown sugar, the pineapple, and now the maraschino cherry. cherries. Yeah, okay. Like that. That's a, that's a Jackson Pollock food masterpiece. <laughs> so, we've got our base down. So, for our essentially what's on the bottom that will be on the top. Alright, so now we want to do our batter. Batter up. So, we'll put this aside. So again, we're letting our buddy Duncan Hines help us out. So we're going to put in the cake mix. So I'm using the Pineapple Supreme Cake Mix. Then, here's a little trick that Mom taught me when using cake mixes. Because she always thought, you never know how long they've been around. So just as an extra boost, whenever using a cake mix, we put in an extra teaspoon of baking powder and an extra teaspoon of baking soda. Oh, so not a lot, but just enough to just make enough sure to make it does sure, its thing. Yeah, that it rises properly. This is a pretty fresh mix, so I'm not so worried about it. Does the added baking soda or baking powder do anything to the um, texture or you know the, the lightness of it? Well, it ensures that it rises properly. Okay, we're going to, it calls for one third of a cup of oil. So here we go, one third a cup of oil. We'll put that in there. Then it calls for one and one third cup of water. This is where our pineapple juice comes in. Oh, instead of water you're instead using? Instead of water, I'm using the pineapple juice. Okay, so we got our, we had a little camera issue, so I don't know where we're at, but I'm putting our three eggs in here. See it flashing? Okay, so we've got our eggs, our oil, our water, and again, I substituted the water for the pineapple juice. So we're going to get this baby mixed up. You smell that pineapple? Yeah, smell that pineapple. Okay, so here we go. We've got our butter, brown sugar, pineapple, and cherry, and we're just going to put our cake batter right on over this. Look how it just fill, fits right in and mm -hmm. fills every nook and cranny perfectly. And yes folks, it really does smell pineapple-y delicious. Pineapple is just one of those flavors. I can't get enough of it for some reason. He even got a pineapple soap for Christmas I this did. year. <laughs> and I'm, you know, I never used to like to wash my mouth out with soap, but oh my god, it tastes so good. <laughs> he I, wants to eat I'm it. almost tempted to start cussing. Okay. Maybe you like pineapples because you're both sweet and prickly. Oh. <laughs> that could be. All right, so here we go. Now, we're going to put it in a 350 degree preheated oven for about 40 minutes. 40 to 45. We'll see how she does. So. We'll set the timer, and we will come back, and then bring our cake out, and make it the right side up cake upside down again. Okay, so we're doing a pineapple, pineapple princess, princess upside, upside down, down cake. Okay, so it's been a little about 45 plus minutes, um, and I've tested the cake, and how I do it is if it springs back in the center, then I know it's good. Hmm. So there it is. You can see it started to come away from the sides of the pan. Also a indi good indication that it's ready. Right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to let it sit here for about 10 or 15 minutes before we flip it. Just kind of let it cool come down. together a little bit. Uh, and then we'll get our pineapple 
princess upside down cake upside down. Okay? Is that the last step? Yep. Wow. So we'll be back in a few minutes after it cools, cools for a little bit. All right. Pineapple princess. Now, we've got to flip this cake around. So here's how I do it. Uh, I get some wax paper. And first we get ourselves a little knife here. Want to make sure that little knife. Well, wow. oh, so you just make sure it's separating, okay? Yeah, and it's pretty much pulled away from the edge of the pan. But you just want to double check. So you run your knife around, okay? Now, I'm gonna have some wax paper here, okay? Over it over the top. Yep. Ready to flip your wig. So we're just going to flip. Are you praying? Yes. <laughs> I thought so. Does it feel right? Can you almost tell? Okay. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Now, what invariably happens is sometimes you get a little stickage. You can see. Wow. Okay, but that's, don't fret over it. No, that looks, that's the good stuff. This is the good stuff, and look what we're going to do. A little spackling job. Yep. Yeah. So, we're going to work that in. And then does this go right back in the same pan? Yeah, now you're going to let it cool. We're going to let it sit there and cool. Okay. So that's an important part is that you, yes. we weren't letting it cool before, we were just kind of letting it cool the touch, not completely. Right. So now we've got our pineapple put back in. And we're good to go. So we're going to let that cool. And then what we're going to do is once it's cooled, the cake will be, we're going to just take this and we're going to lay it right in the pan, okay? And then we I trim the wax paper from around oh, the pan. So the wax paper stays at the bottom? The wax paper will stay at the bottom. I was going to say, otherwise I don't yeah. know how you would get it back in there no. so easily. You could do it with a couple of spatulas and things like that, but I just fun. actually use the, the wax paper as a way to lift and drop it back in. Gotcha. So. Wonderful. So there it is. There it Ladies is. Ladies and gentlemen, Pineapple Princess Upside Down Cake. So, thanks for being a part of this one. Happy New Year to all. And we'll see you next time in 2012. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye now.